Hello and welcome back to the second episode of the sixth season of Conquest of Elysium 5 here on my channel. We are playing with Necromancer on count difficulty with Wilder Enable. Now we managed to secure ourselves a few magical items in the last turn here. A uh, Scepter of the Goblin King and a uh, Seeing Stone. Both of which will probably come in pretty handy. And uh, yeah, we're just going to use our Necromancer's Apprentice to go around here and raise dead until his insanity really gets him. And even so, we're still going to use him to raise dead. Uh, I'm going to just drive this guy crazy as hell. So there's no, no, nothing new to recruit there. Uh, so if we look at these guys. They're ethereal, so three out of four attacks will miss them. But they have life drain. And life drain doesn't affect lifeless beings. So, I'm not entirely sure how that works. But if it doesn't affect lifeless beings, uh, we have a lot of lifeless beings, like these, uh, all the long dead and whatnot. Um, and if that's the only attack they have and that can't affect lifeless beings, maybe we can go in with only lifeless beings uh, and then uh, have no chance of losing anything, really. So what I think we're going to do is take the Spearman here and give his um, sword or his scepter to this unarmed long dead over here that doesn't have a weapon uh, but he'll go rank minus one and then be able to cast flame burst once per turn instead of uh, attacking and he has the scepter of the goblin king as well to attack with now but if he sits back one rank then uh, that could be really useful actually if we gave this to one of these uh, other guys so uh, because right, this guy has nah he's got fists anyway one damage yeah we'll give it to this guy He's got three hit points as opposed to one, so he could maybe take a hit and then keep uh, spewing out the flames. However, we need Isaac to go and pick up this scout here, maybe clear out these wolves if he gets a good chance to do so. And I think so we can use a little bit of the more meaner necromancy spells, we'll uh, equip Isaac here with the spearmen. We'll keep the archers, but we'll um, go back with the spearmen. And I think that's it, six spearmen, yep. Arisio can race dead again. And he will. At some point we can reinforce our main army with this. And uh, yeah, for now though, uh, we're just going to keep racing dead. Not going to waste more time to build up this army. We need to start using this army. So we're going to take on these guys. And oh yeah, right. Lifeless. Um, like the ghost warriors, they aren't lifeless. They're just ethereal. So they can be affected still so can the shades all right so we have a front line with lifeless beings and uh, a bunch of archers caster so if it turns out as i hope it will we will take no damage here on the front line the front line will never break or lose anyone and we can just eradicate these guys get the silver mine giving us another five gold income per turn and one iron and that could be very nice so let us Try to do that. Well, we certainly succeeded in combat, though. Okay, we can get a captain for 43 gold. That could be useful. They're a little bit more durable than the Man Kings that happen to be in the front lines. So let's see her now, if they can just do absolutely nothing to us. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're actually doing anything. Nice. Yeah, we're just wrecking these guys with zero risk to ourselves. Perfect. Very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, do we get this captain, though? I think maybe we do, actually. Okay, we can have Isaac here. It's just kind of like a trafficking uh, units back and forth type guy. Like, for instance, we can pick up this here now and uh, head back over to our main necromancer. And we can then also, he's got 10, uh, we got 10 hands of the dead or whatever they're called. Hands of glory. So we can do another minor summoning and hopefully get something, ooh, another mount king. Well, I mean, yeah, the utility, but they're not that strong. We're going to call this guy Nara. Nah. Hmm, what seems like a Mound King's name? 
Charlemagne. I second Charlemagne. Yeah, they can just be in the same army group right now. And uh, we'll transfer. Oh, they can be separate actually. I think that's probably better. Uh, but yeah, we'll get back these uh, Shades and Ghost Warriors for our Necromancer's army here. Not that we can do much right now, but that's fine. Right, so this guy still has three moves, that's why I don't want them to be together right now, because we can start sending him back. And then we also have Ladar. Uh, we're going to call him Lazarus. And he has that scout. Okay, so it's kind of good to have several commanders with the uh, summoning necromancer. Should he become insane? Because then we can still have him attached to one commander. And if we have two commanders with him, then we can have a second commander to take units from him and traffic them around. So I think we will... Uh... Yeah, we will do that. Uh, but he can summon up some more units though. I'll raise more dead, so let's do that. Good, we're getting some full-size dead now. That's uh, quite nice. Not sure about this iron mine. We could probably take it out, but uh, let's not go for it just yet, though. The Lazarus over here can take the scout. At some point, we might want to get some units into her, though. Just so it's not at risk of anything just suddenly coming in and attacking. Um, and this is where all these commanders can come in handy, actually. We haven't done this optimally right now. It's like I do something and then I realize I can do something else and but then it's already too late. So whatever, it shouldn't be a big problem. Should be able to uh, keep going nicely here. Can't afford that scout or that commando. But as you can see here, this guy has a spirit ring making a commander ethereal and floating. So if we can have our main commander uh, which can then also well, uh, which he could then also um, only have ethereal and flying units with them, or uh, floating units with them, then we could move across the map really quickly with them. Uh, that being said, I think we just step on. Do we have something slowing us down here? It just might be the uh, units that we just added could be overdrawn on action points. I'm not entirely sure here. Pyromancy level 2, that's pretty... That's pretty out there. That's pretty strong. Uh, so I don't think we're necessarily going to take that on just yet. But the time will come. As right, so this guy's insane now, which is... Uh, not ideal. We can have Charlemagne here to start trafficking some of these troops to our... Uh, frontline guy. Little long deads and long deads. We'll keep these uh, slow dudes with the Necromantle's Apprentice. That should be fine. We can have Isaac head over here. So we can kind of use two Mound Kings just traffic units back and forth. And uh, yeah. Well, that's it for this turn. Looks like a damn Tetris block here. Uh, cool. Twelve wolves. Maybe we want to actually deal with them. I think we do. And we're going to do so... ...like this. Uh, we're going to take this guy and just... Oh, look at that, the village. Uh, we can't really... Uh, ...explore anything else and then attack. It's not. There's not any point to it. We're just going to take all of this from our Mount King, and we will... Wait, what? Why? Oh, I went down to a hill. That's that's why. Alright, that's unfortunate. Uh, hills and plains are kind of hard to distinguish sometimes, so we wasted a turn there. Could have been attacking these wolves already, but uh, unfortunately that's uh, not what we're doing. So I think, uh, in fact, we'll have Lazarus be in command of these human troops, though. 
and uh, just send them in here basically. Well, we could have linked both those up there. So I'm making like, like these tiny AP wasting mistakes all the time here. Huh? Uh, we're going to take these uh, soulless and little soulless with Isaac. And send them to uh, our Dark Citadel, just in case something surprises us there. At least we have something to kind of discourage them from attacking, if it's just like a minor wolf party or something. At this minor wolf party over here is a little bit annoying, if I'm being truthful. We might just avoid them for now. Just, ah, uh, it's such a waste of turn to take on this. But I guess we do it. That's nice. Isaac with the... Soulless, he will go back with them. Charlemagne will have uh, Lazarus be in control of him. And Lazarus will also be in control of the Necromancer's Apprentice here, Arisio, that has now a more than 50% chance of being insane every single turn. So his effectiveness as a... Uh, Undead summoner is going to be less and less. Also, we have a large amount of soulless here. Okay, do we have more moves left on Charlemagne? Yeah. So we go to Charlemagne then and just pick, or oh, well, we go here with Charlemagne and pick up these. So just station them all in the Dark Citadel, I guess. And then we wait with shuttling out more. Undead that we summon until both these guys get back from the Dark Citadel, or at least one of them. So two commanders plus Necromantor's Apprentice, then you can do something with this army group. You can kind of move around, even though the guy's insane, we can spawn undead, we can then traffic out the undead that we spawn, etc. So, yeah, let's move on. Gonna battle on a plane, hopefully no casualties. Looking good. Yeah, no casualties. Don't even, think, don't even think we took any damage at all. That's nice. I mean, this army is going to get stronger and better and bigger and more dangerous by the turn that we play. We got a city here. We got some bandits, a farm, Captain Halbert there, another guard tower. Which, frankly, we could probably take on. We got Widow now, which uh, has the special effect of decay. Which isn't necessarily that good in combat, it's more like if you lose the combat, the people that are decaying will die eventually. Um, but whatever, we're gonna, we only have a front line of actual undead right now. I don't think they should be affected by decay, as they're already decaying. Or, well, they aren't, they have decayed and they're dead. I don't know, I don't know, we'll see. We'll try it out, I'm not sure we can find out. So if we see that our uh, undead in the front line are starting to... Uh, wither away from this, then, well, we start using it. Basically. Uh, pretty sure we can take on uh, these guys right here. From Dead Sands Terre. There is a lot of dead to race around, uh, around the world. We use special power here to race dead. Wait, how many? No, we're not going to do that, actually. We're going to move over here and do it, and race dead, because we're already race dead in the other location. Oh yeah, we're getting a decent amount of uh, stuff out of that. We raced everything that was able to be raced there. And I'm actually just going to take these uh, soulless beings uh, with us. Then we'll move Lazarus over here. And have him be in control of the remaining army here. And also give him control of the Necromancer's Apprentice. For reasons which I already mentioned. Now if we take out this guy... That's going to yield us some gold and iron. I know it's this town here that maybe we can get on at some point. So there are some options for things that we can take on. We can't necessarily take on everything right now, but... I feel good about taking out... Or taking on this guy, at least. We might suffer some casualties, but... Uh, I mean, skeletons are easy come, easy go. So it's not really a big deal. Get another captain. I don't think we're going to do that right now. We'll save the gold. Maybe we can get the necromancer's apprentice. Okay, so yeah. Uh, decaying. 
Suffering from decay usually means certain death. A decaying unit will take damage every combat round until it dies. Okay, so that's useful in combat. I'm just a little bit confused back and forth on some of these moves, so... Yeah, if we lose a few long dead, it's not a biggie. We can always replace them. I feel like our army is fairly capable. Speed it up a little bit, huh? Taken a few casualties, but nothing too bad. No, 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 don't, don't let that guy run away. We need to kill him. Okay, well, he decayed away. <laughs> Just turns to run and then decays into death. We lost a long dead, two shade, unfortunately, and two little long dead. We got some spoils of war, though. All right, 30 gold and 10 iron. I mean, that's pretty okay, I guess. Either way, we can... Oh, uh, what am I doing? I just made a massive mistake with Isaac here. Uh, okay, what we're gonna do is actually... We'll hire up some archers to kinda deal with me having made that stupid mistake. I clicked before I was thinking. Which is really not the right order. But yeah, we're gonna take on these wolves, so... Let's see if we can summon more dead this turn. We can, but are the dead to summon here now? Not really. So we're just gonna assume command of him again, and then we're gonna move into the silver mine because I know for sure there's stuff to summon up here. And Charlemagne will take these soulless back to the to the dark citadel, and we'll kind of take it from there. So yeah, we have a few really trash units guarding here, but we can also upgrade them to armored soulless, which are a bit better. That gives them a weapon. Uh, so maybe that's something worth looking into, but uh, it's a bit expensive. We could also go for Soulless Soldier, giving him also a weapon. More hit points, even more with the Armored Soulless though. A bit pricey. We might not go for that just yet, if I'm honest. Um, so yeah, I think we take the village over here. Then we use special powers to do a minor summoning again. Very nice. Ethereal uh, Spectral Horseman. Pretty decent. Spectral Lance and Spectral Weapons. Uh, so he charges in and uses this. 1 to 10 magic damage and this. 1 to 6. Okay, well, I mean, they're, they're going to charge ahead of the army, which could be an issue. But uh, let's take uh, these bandits out and just overrun them real quick. And uh, yeah, we have now two more um, Hands of Glory every turn. Sounds good. Battle in the Mountain. Yeah, that should be no casualties. Right, okay, the Mount King took some damage, uh, which is a problem since he never heals and he's now at half hit points. So yeah, I mean, they, although they, you can use them as commanders, they're not great, as you can see. We're lucky we can use the... Yeah, we can summon some dead this turn as well. Let's do that. Uh, raise dead. Then we can slap these guys on to um, our main army that uh, Abyssian is uh, in control of. But for now, Lazarus assumes control of this army. We could leave the Necromancer behind and attack these serpents, actually. You know what? I'm going to take the chance on that. Uh, we'll just leave... We're leaving the Necromancer behind and we're just killing these motherfuckers. And we got the Bission. Which we'll send into this. Oh. This is another controlled by another player. Will give us a uh, hand to go in there. Hand of Glory. Next time we do 1, 2, 3 and get another Hand of Glory. Then backtrack here. Take on these Hamlets. Oh, there's a lot actually here that we can start making a gold farm. And we do have a fairly decent army, should we run into the enemy? There's another guy as well. Hmm. Alright, maybe some casualties, but... Nope, we're good. We are good. Alright, okay. Um, so as we know, there's another battlefield that we fought on here. We're just going to go and get the dead from that. Lazarus will 
Assume full command again. Charlemagne will head back, drop off the... Uh, all of these. So now we have uh, 36 units going to be remaining in there and guarding that. And Isaac... Ooh, boss. Hmm. Let's get another 5 archers here, actually. Isaac can go pick those up. And the balls aren't too dangerous. 1 to 4 damage, 5 hit points. Now there's 9 of them. Uh, so what we have here might not be enough really to deal with it uh, safely. If we lose these commanders, it's going to be a little bit annoying because they could be so useful for us. We're going to take that. And what is this? Cloudfolk Elder. Okay, so up against one Cloud Lord at least. What we can do is uh, simply start taking him on with what we have here. Shouldn't stand too much of a chance, I suppose. He's got Storm Magic level 1, but... Ah, well, hopefully it's nothing too fancy he's got going on. Might as well inflict some casualties on this guy. You know, why not? Okay, the boss are moving in. Uh, hmm... Well, yeah, this guy is just very exposed from kind of rushing in, unfortunately, so it's not a very survivable. Um, uh, well, from my Baron playthroughs, the knights are good, but they're also pretty exposed to dying. We're however doing some good damage here. What's this guy got? Air shield and shock. Shock can target one guy for one to six damage, so... Nothing too fancy. Alright, well, he got blasted. He did lose two, three long dead and a ghost warrior. I mean, as long as we don't lose the spectral archers, those are the ones I'm really interested in keeping here. Survivable archers. I mean, most archers are kind of survivable, I guess, but, uh, yeah. Alright, you know what, we're gonna deal with these boss, but I might wanna do it with some armored soldiers in the army. I'm not gonna lie, so... Uh, we'll take the scout, and we'll take the armored soulless with us. And we'll attack. Then we move up here, and let's see, we cannot um, control the necromancer this turn. His insanity is 67, so it's more likely he'll be uh, insane any given turn than it is that he won't be. It's just unfortunate, but uh, you know, that's just how it is. Yes, yeah, so we can go up here, and we can take this farm, and this hamlet. Get a little bit of a look at what's going on around here. There should be a lot of dead trace in these various farms and hamlets and whatnot. We can't uh, overextend. We should secure this area here before we go too far with this army. And I do want to secure the magic library also, and get those magic items that were in there. Because they could be pretty good utility to have. Okay, got some activity. So yeah, I mean, if they're damaged and you upgrade them, then they will keep the damage, which is a little bit annoying. But you know, it is what it is, so what are you going to do? But certainly we didn't take any more damage here, so it's all good. And yeah. I guess I just keep these upgraded guys on the front line, really. Well, you know what? Um, I'll keep one commander in back here. The guy that's been damaged a little bit, which is Isaac. Uh, he can keep control of these uh, armored soulless. Oh, damn it. I sent them both back. I meant to just send Isaac, but okay. Charlemagne can go over here and... Take the scout and the archers with them. And then we got this guy. Karmus uh, the senator. If we're lucky, that's the uh, last senatorial unit. Or like, maybe doesn't have too many commanders left. Probably does though. But senator, uh, with the AI already getting plus 100% to gold and iron income. And that guy gets another 50% on top of that. We might want to inflict as many casualties on him as we can. 
Oh, another spectral horseman. Well, I mean, they get stronger in numbers, I suppose, so... Let's just go for attacking him, though. And, uh, yeah. Let's see, can we... Nope. Yeah, so this army is just kind of on a standstill over here. With the, um... Necromancer in it. Some dead sense there. Almost all of the dead seem to be animals. We're not going to bother too much with racing these various animals. What the hell did that guy do? He actually captured that city. That's got to be a pretty sizable army then. Necromancer's Apprentice. Necromancer's Apprentice for 68 gold. Not sure how much gold we have, but I hope we can afford that actually. Oh, these guys are now decaying away. I hit point the turn, which is very nice. Yeah, we're taking a lot of casualties to the javelin, so... But it is only long deads, primarily, anyway. If the archers could get a little bit more into the action here, would be good. Actually, we're melting away. We cannot take on that cloud, uh, cloud army. We might need to skedaddle out of here after this fight, to be honest. And just kind of recover our force strength a little bit. I mean, we're inflicting some damage and casualties to this guy, but we're also taking some ourselves, so... Was it entirely worth it? It might not have been. Hope we don't lose any archers. I really want the archers to remain alive. Please don't lose any archers. Oh, God damn it, we lost one archer. And we're possibly gonna lose more, it seems. Is my guys getting affected by this decay and whatnot? Not that I can see. Well, that's not a long dead archer. Okay, we shouldn't have done this. It was a mistake. We inflicted a lot of damage. But we also took a lot. Damn it. Yeah. That was a bad call. We lost 36 units in this one. Lost a shade, a ghost warrior, it's whatever on those, but pretty much nearly all are long dead. We got, what, 20, or oh, 19 units left. We did, however, take out his army here at least, so that's good. Um, it said that we gained spoils of war, but we didn't, in fact, do that. Ah, oh, lord, he's got a lot of cloud, cloud elementals, I really hate those. I mean, like, I really hate those. Now we're gonna have to uh, do a quick shuffling around of the scepter here. Give it to a long dead guy that has a little bit of hit points left, like this guy. And uh, we gotta get out of their line of sight. I do not want to be attacked by them. So, I hope everything goes well now. So, now we have Isaac here with a defensive army. We can probably keep upgrading, uh, like... Soulless soldiers and whatnot. Can't afford Necromantor's Apprentice, unfortunately. But we'll go for some soulless soldiers uh, and just make his army a little bit stronger should anything happen. Not gonna waste armor on the, um, I mean, iron on the most expensive ones, but. Yeah, we still can't do anything. <clears throat> my bad. Uh, got something in my throat there, real quick. Uh, but yeah, we can't. Race any more dead, unfortunately. But they're splitting up the army. We might be able to take that city now, actually. Yeah, there's one area archer there, but I don't think it's feasible for us to start attacking that. In fact, let's just do a little bit of um, a ritual of mastery. Stiggy and Pats. The Necromancer shifts into the world of Hades with his entire army. In Hades, he will be able to rush at incredible speed until the spell ends. The spell ends after one month, and when it does, the Necromancer and his men will return to Elysium again. Right, well, uh, we're just going to keep maneuvering outside of these guys' line of sight, though. And maybe I should have let that uh, Senator guy be, so maybe these guys would have fought each other. Uh, you know... An enemy of an enemy is your friend, basically. 
tried that approach, but yeah, well, it's too late for that now. Solar Soldier, we'll get that. We'll also get another captain. Um, Lirion. We'll call this guy. And have him move over to, uh, to these guys there. Can we raise more dead now? We can, actually. And we will. Yeah, that wasn't amazing or anything. But we'll take this entire army here. And we'll attack this giant centipede group. And we'll have another captain with these guys. And we'll have Charlemagne head over here as well. And he will be in charge of the soulless. The uh, two action point units that we summon up. And Isaac will just keep the base defense. Well, base defense. Dark Citadel defense, I guess you should say. So, hopefully no casualties. Although these guys have a venomous bite that is not so pleasant. And it is hitting our front line a bit. Also, they have two armor, which is actually quite terrible. We might lose a lot here, actually. This was probably a bad call. It's too bad we have this um, ancient force right there. And the Goblin King Scepter cannot burn it down. Although it has some flame abilities. But if we can burn it down at some point, if we get some sort of pyromantic ability that can, then we're definitely gonna. We lost half our army there to that, so... Not really worth it, but we kind of had to do it, though. Just... Yeah, get rid of the shit that spawns out from here, basically. I guess we could take the Ancient Forest out, and then summon the animals that we killed there. Also, there's an Iron Man here that we should probably secure. If we can, and when we go for it, we can have these guys join in the battle. We'll just go for another Soulless Soldier pack, you know, get these guys upgraded. Why not? Could use them later for something useful. Um, a Troll with 16 Goblins. I don't want to mess with a Troll right now with this army. But we should be fine taking on this. Uh, not that we can though, because the snow has us mired down a bit. Right, but we're going to do a little bit of Oh, I thought this guy died or something. We're going to do a little bit of restructuring of our army over here. Uh, we'll link these guys up. All of them together. This guy is still insane, which is annoying. But what can you do? And who was it? Charlemagne, yeah. He will be in charge of all these two action point units. Separately from the other guys, sir. Ah, bears and all that sort of fun stuff. We're gonna get some more archers out then, just in case they decide to attack my captain, huh? Alright, a lot of fun stuff, basically. Um. Okay, we're just gonna do one more minor summoning here. Oh, a Mount King that has a Ring of Protection. Magic Assistance plus two, armor bonus plus one. Nice, that's a good minor summoning. Uh, yeah, we're gonna call him. Uh, what do we call him? Uh, Nicholas. Sounds like a dead king's name. Kinda. Probably one king in history, at least, that was named Nicholas and died. So we're giving this to our main necromancer guy here. This, it gives him plus two magic assistance and plus one armor, which could be good. Could save his ass. And if we can save his ass, then that's going to be pretty good for us. Now, we can just have Nicholas kind of... Nah, we're not going to have him tag along, actually. Uh, if we can just send him back and maybe do some scouting with him. I don't really care. We need to look at uh, a little bit of... What's going around? We're going on around here if we can. 
Yeah, we can't do anything with that guy, unfortunately, so it's only past turn that makes sense to me right now. Right, battle in the village, hopefully no casualties, if I'm lucky. So far, so good. Uh, casting weakness on these guys, they still do 1 to 6 damage though, so... Ah, uh, damn it, he hit the guy. Oh, well, that was just a regular long dead. It wasn't an armored one. Okay, ah, uh, yeah, so there we, there we see. One of our guys died to decay. Uh, so I don't think we should be using decay. Because it could hit friendlies. And uh, when it does, it's just so annoying. So we're gonna give this Goblin King Scepter to someone else. Uh, let's go for this guy. And... What was I thinking here now? Right, Widow will change that for Disease with a single target, because I don't want my own units to Widow away. I'm going to keep exploring. Ancient Temple. I don't think this is empty, but... Oh, it is, actually. Okay, well, then we have an Ancient Temple, and that's going to add to... Um, uh, well, it has no effect on recruitment of us for this class, so... Okay, it's going to add to nothing. Uh, whatever. If that guy could stop being insane at some point, we might just need to stop trying to summon up units with him, to be honest. So actually, if we do Charlemagne, give him the long dead cell. Which aren't that many, to be fair. But we can also give him the archers. Which is going to make this army substantially weaker. But we can link them up with our main army that actually needs to get substantially stronger. Um, yeah. Right, we'll link up in the forest till next turn, I believe. We can just take this hamlet till. So this guy hasn't tried to retake any of this. So we'll probably, we should go in here and take this city. We could have taken it previously, but he had the army, the other army close by. So we're going to go back and take whatever we can in this area. He'll clear it up a little bit, then I think we'll go for the magic library after that. That's my current plan right now, but plans can change from turn to turn, so there's no guarantee that's what we're actually going to be doing. And, um, yeah, Lillian just links up with Lazarus, so. Oh, that's more archers. Well, I mean, it could be good to have some archers with these guys as well. Two scouts, so we can split up and have a scout go a separate way. Moving on to the next month. New battle in Hamlet. This should be so casualties. And it was. If we could get a hold of another Necromantor's apprentice at some point, that would be really good. And if we can get the magic library, I think that's going to increase our chances of doing so. So, that's definitely something we should look into. Is this something we can take on? Do I feel confident at all about that? Or is that just a bad idea? Kind of leaning towards it just being a bad idea. Although we have a bunch of archers now, but we don't have a lot of melee guys in like the front line. And that could be problematic. We have a full line of archers though, which is pretty nice. Just gonna go for using special powers, I guess. Let's do some minor summoning. A Bane, they're actually pretty decent. They actually heal over time at least. They're not a Teriel or anything. But they have Bane Blade. And uh, that has a special effect of Decay. 1 to 10 damage, he does 1 to 12. Armor 2. This is not a bad minor summon. I mean, there's only one guy, but it's a decent guy. So... Yeah, it's not too shabby. We send Charlemagne back to the... Necro oh, he can actually, uh, slight presence of the dead here. Well, we'll raise the dead then. And then we're probably gonna stop using him to raise the dead from now on. We're just gonna have Lazarus take command of him. And, uh, yeah. We'll just remain here for now. I could... not have command of this Necromancer right now and then go attack that bear, but I don't want to do that because... Let's say, what now, 78% chance next turn that we can't command this guy, and then we can't attach him to the army. So we're just going to have him attached to this army, 
And we're not going to summon up units for a while. Because right now it's... Uh, hmm. Well, I'm not liking it. We're going to explore a bit with Nicholas, so good thing we did. That's free gold for us right there. Let's see what else we can find. Okay, so some player up north, though. That's good to know. Uh, but yeah, I think we're going to end this episode here. I think we made decent progress, although we have lost a lot of units in our main army. Uh, but over time, we're going to be getting more armies, and maybe we can snowball and spiral out of control at some point. Either way, I hope you enjoyed it so far. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you would consider dropping a like on the video and maybe subscribing. It's all up to you, of course. And uh, either way, you can watch me in the next episode. Well, you won't actually be seeing me, but you can catch me in the next episode. And with that, have a good one.